guys, Cindy out here with my artsy endeavors. Welcome to my creative year, video one. Um, what we are doing for our first week is we're making a mascot. You guys already know this. And this is the mascot that um, I'm going to start making. Now, quite a while ago, I put a bunch of paint. This is just a little um, floppy doll that I got quite a while ago. And it was white. And as I was getting leftover paint, I was just um, throwing paint on her. So she looks kind of grubby, which, you know, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to make her into my studio mascot. Now, I've got a few odds and ends here. I've got some old paint rags, an old paintbrush, which this one might be a little bit too big. I might have to find a smaller one. Um... And just some pieces. Here's a crown. I don't know if I'll use it. Here's a bumblebee. I don't know. Butterfly. I don't know. This came off a piece of Gina's fabric. Um, this is just one of the faces. And here's another one. Here's the rest of the fabric. So I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to use this face. Actually, I kind of like this bigger one. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to make myself a mascot. Now, as you guys know, the whole premise behind this is budget-friendly, so use what you have. Do not go out and buy anything. Um, I'm sure you have plenty of stuff laying around your studio where you can make yourself a mascot. And, um, yeah, just have fun with it. I mean, this is just something for you and your studio. It's not something that, you know, for everybody else. So have fun with it. Let me see what... See? Look at that. I like her. So anyways, I've got that. I've got an old credit card, just some odds and ends, some wood pieces. And then I have some doll hair over here, which she's going to end up getting some doll hair. I don't know if it's going to stay these colors. I may have to paint it. I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and fast forward through this process. Um, if I do anything crazy, I will stop and let you guys know about it. And we'll go from there. So let's see how this little cheeky poo um, turns out. All right. You guys have fun and I'll be back at the end.
Okay, guys, so here she is. It's kind of hard. I should, I'm going to tip her up. No, that one doesn't go in there. I'm going to tip her up a little bit. Here she is. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Um, I had a lot of fun putting her together. Um, I've got a few odds and ends I, I had just put on a second ago. Um, I decided that I had forgotten this little jar that I made, so I put that on there. And that's just got all kinds of funky things in it. Glitter and then... Um, this is just like little nail art things. So I put that on there. I put these two butterflies here. I put a Coke bottle in there. I used to be um, big on Diet Coke. I put a little Jacks in there just because I loved to play that when I was a kid. Um, and here she is. Let me go back out a little bit. Hold on. Look at her. So she is going to sit on my shelf just like that. Um, this little pink chain, plastic chain, I've got a whole, this is some, um, I used to make Dicro jewelry, and this is just some of the odds and ends pieces that I have. Um, a little piece of costume jewelry here, of course our paintbrush. I should do something more to this, I might. Um, actually, yeah, no, that's not going to work. You know what, let's do this. I have, let's sit her here for a second. What did I do with them? I have little eyeballs. Um, here's one, a yellow one. Did I put them back? No. So where are they? Well, I was going to put little eyeballs on my, uh, um, paintbrush, but I don't know where they went. Oh, they're there. Duh. Okay, so let's put a couple eyeballs on here. Let's make them blue and green. There's a blue one. I think. Oops. Ouch. Hot glue. The ouch. Hot glue. <laughs> ouch. <laughs> yeah. How many else have you done that? <laughs> ay yeah, yay. Let's try that again. <laughs> We're gonna put it on the paint on the paintbrush this time. Dang, that hurts. All right. So we got hot glue. Here's one eyeball. This one's probably cool by now. Right, and here's a green. <laughs> Ow. Boy, that hurts. That glue is very hot. Alright, and here's a green. So now our he has eyeballs. <laughs> Love him. Alright, um, then on the back I gotta get rid of all these hot glue strings. They drive me crazy. Um, I used doll hair for her hair. And I just used all the different kinds that I have, which is fine. Then I put this little ouch, um, butterfly, the purple butterfly, in her hair. And then I used this flower, which I pinned into it. And then here's a, another piece of cosmetic jewelry flower. And this is just a feather. I was thinking I might hang something off here. I'm just not sure what yet. Um, you know, maybe when I find it, hang on. Can I hang this off here? Yeah, we're going to put this off here. So we'll do that. And then I have this little bee on the flower. And then on her back side, I did not do a whole lot on her back side. Oops, I just stuck my hand in the paint. Um, this is just a piece of cosmetic jewelry. And then I put this metal piece on the bottom for her to sit. Now, in her palette, I did <laughs> put paint. Um, I just have to wait for it to dry, which is fine. I like it the way it is. Now this, I want to take this, I want to see if, will this fit in there? Will it go in there? Yep, it will. <laughs> there we go. Now she has a little hangy thing off her feather. Just a little silver looking thing. Alright, so I'm going to tip her up. Here she is! Yay! My studio mascot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I really can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Have fun and play. Just play with, you know, the stuff you have in your studio, and make yourself a mascot. It's just a lot of fun. All right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I will chat with you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!